Hey everybody, it's uh, Baseball Four Three Five here, and I'm gonna be making the next, or this is the next video on um, key presses and moving the play around and stuff like that. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create two new variables: uh, int velocity x, kind of comma, uh, the velocity y, and we're just gonna set them both to zero initially. And then um, what we're gonna do is uh, check the key presses. So First, we have to get the key code. So we're going to do int key equals e dot get key code, and um, then we're going to use this to check if a key was pressed. So we're going to do if uh, key equals equals uh, key event dot vk uh, w. We're going we're to use w uh, asd for this. Then um, we'll do this stuff next. And we'll do else if, and then we'll copy and paste key equals s and then we'll do like this a and then d w s a d <laughs> and then um, we can just copy and paste this actually copy and paste all of it and then paste it right into the key released part so what we're going to do is if um, you know anything about the screen uh, at the very top left of the screen is um, where the coordinates start. So the very top left is 0, 0, and the very bottom right is wherever or however big your screen is. So if you press the W key, the um, the uh, Y is going to be subtracted. The Y value is going to be subtracted. So we're going to do um, vel Y equals negative 2. And that will move it up. And then the S key is going to be down. So we'll do vel Y equals 2 and then the velocity is going to be down and then we'll do um, for the a for the a key you're going to go to the left and that's subtracting x so x equals negative 2 vel x equals negative 2 and um, vel x for the key d is going to be equal to 2 and um, so that's going to be our simple moving right there now actually recopy this and then repaste it it's going to make it easier and then change each one of these to zero. Because when the key's released, you want the player to stop and not keep on moving. Uh, you can test it, like take that part out, and then it, when they release the key, it will just keep on going over and over again. And um, so now that's practically it. Um, up here in the update method, you have to do uh, y plus equals vel y, and x plus equals vel x. So that's going to constantly add whatever the velocity y or velocity x is to that value. So now, if we run it, it should work correctly. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. Um, we have to do uh, player dot update right here. You have to put that into the action perform method. And now, if you run it, it should work correctly. Nope. Lovely. Alright, hold on a second. Let me figure this out. Player. Keep pressed. I'll be right back and I'll figure this out in a second. Hold on, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back and um, I feel pretty stupid about that. Um, we'll first move this above the repaint method. Uh, move player.update above repaint. And then the stupid part is I forgot to start the timer, which is why it wasn't moving. So it's going to be main timer dot start. And now, if you run it, it should work correctly. D key goes over, A key goes to the left, S key goes down, W key goes up. And, um, yeah, here's your game so far. Uh, it's kind of like the basics. It's what I use for each one of my games, practically. Um, and, uh, yeah. So the next video I'm going to be doing is probably collisions and stuff like that and showing you how to do that. So um, I'll see you then. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.